The little piggy Gorky was sitting sadly in the garden. His older brother Porky came to him. What's wrong, Gorky? Why are you sad? I'm so bored, brother. I can't find anything to do. Ugh. You know, I actually have an idea. What is it? Playing in the mud? I'm tired of that too. Oh no! I went to a place called City when I was as young as you. There was a huge amusement park with lights all over it. Maybe we can go there. At that moment, the little pigs heard a crack. They were frightened at first, but continued to talk excitedly. Hooray! Amusement park! Hearing Gorky's joy, his other brother Torky too joined them immediately. At that moment, they heard another crack. They did not notice the wolf listening to them through the bushes. Hmm, going to the city and having fun at the amusement park. Let me catch you on the way and show you what it's like to have fun. <laughs> But the road is quite far and dangerous. We'll be careful and protect ourselves on the way. Please, let's go. So the three little pigs set off for the city, and the treacherous wolf immediately followed them. After a long journey in the forest, the three little pigs were very tired. My feet hurt from walking. Let's get some rest now. The little pigs, with the help of their older brother, set up a tent made of leaves and tree branches. They went inside and slept soundly. The wolf, on the other hand, was wandering somewhere nearby, with his nose smelling strong. Where are these piggies? A few hours later, the little pig was very hungry. He left the tent to look for food without waking his brothers. He saw an apple tree just ahead. Just as he was about to reach out and pick three apples, the wolf suddenly appeared in front of him. Is that what you wanted, little pig? Help! Wolf! The wolf was just about to catch Gorky, but the little pig got out of the wolf's arms and ran to his brothers. Brothers, wake up now! The wolf is here. The wolf is outside. The three little pigs hugged each other in fear inside the tent. Open the door and let me in, piggies, or I'll huff and puff and blow your tent in. You can't do anything. Our tent is solid. Upon this word, the wolf blew, puffed, and destroyed the tent. And the three little pigs were stunned. Ah ha ha! How are you going to get away now? The middle pig Torky showed the wolf the back of the tree. Oh no! Is that a big bear over there? What? Huh? Bear? Where is it? When the wolf got distracted, the little pigs rushed away. After a while, they came across a small abandoned farm. Look, my brothers! It's a farm. Come on, let's hide there. The little pigs hid in a pile of straw one by one, but little pig Gorky did not notice that his hat was left on the haystack. The treacherous wolf, who was very hungry, was looking for little pigs everywhere. When he saw the farm, he thought he might find something to eat there. Just as he was about to enter. He saw a pile of straw on the side and a tiny hat on it. Here, the piggies must be in this haystack. I found you! <laughs> While the pigs were waiting in silence, they heard a crackling again. Huh? Did the wolf find us? Shush! Let's be quiet. The treacherous wolf disguised as a farmer and came to the barn. Ah, it's so hard being old. I wish someone could help me carry those groceries to the farmhouse. The little pigs waited silently. 
and then we could have a nice feast. Look, that must be the farmer. If we help him, he will fill our stomachs. No, that could be the wolf. Let's not go out. So you didn't help the farmer, piggies? Then I'll huff and puff and blow the haystack in. The wolf took a deep breath, blew, and puffed. When the haystack fell apart, the pig brothers quickly fed. Come here! I'll eat you! The three little pigs who lost their way gradually reached the top of a mountain. There was a sneaky hyena in front of them. Wow! My food came to my feet! The big piggy Porky got in front of his brothers to protect them. Get away from us, hyena! Just then, the middle pig saw a vulture flying overhead. B brother look! This is a vulture! Because the little pigs were so far from home, the wild animals saw them as prey. The three little pigs were terrified, not knowing how to get rid of them. While the hyena was wandering around to see which one to devour first, he suddenly started running towards Gurky. That's when the wolf appeared. He jumped in front of the hyena. Let go of them! The wolf had been following the pigs since the farm. This time, however, he took the hyena against him to protect them. With his frightening claws, he drove the hyena away in one swift. But the danger did not end here. Wolf, watch out! The vulture will attack! The wolf howled with his long and frightening voice as the vulture spread his wings and flew swiftly towards the pig. Ow! The vulture was so afraid of the wolf's howl that he flew away from the pigs and disappeared. Fearing the vulture, the pigs were about to fall off the cliff. No! We're falling! Help! The wolf came quickly and grabbed the pig's hand, and he pulled them all up in one stroke with his strong arms. Thank you, wolf. Why are you helping us? Because only I can eat you, piggies. <laughs> Go straight down to the right of that stone. Your house is there. But this time, be careful. The pigs rescued by the wolf. After walking for a long time in the direction, he said, finally arrived at their house. They promised that they would never cross dangerous roads without their elders again. The next day, there was a knock. Piggies, open the door and let me in, or I'll huff and puff and blow your house in. You know you can't destroy it, man. Don't you believe? Then one, two, three. <gasps> After that day, the three little pigs and the treacherous wolf, who understood the importance of being together against danger, continued their lives happily. Ow!